Hey everyone, let's talk for a bit. I'm Ethereal Vel, if you don't know. And well, I used to think life was going to go fast. Like, well, I'm sure that we all at one point thought life would always be constantly rush, 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 rush. The one thing after the next, after the next. Obviously, it's a lot slower than that. It's not like it's a bad thing, actually. I remember when I, a few years back, before the pandemic, I was on my quest. Everything was going so fast that I didn't even know. I was just got out of college. I got this, it was just right after my year scholarship and I got into acting. And as I was going through everything, learning new things, going on the job, I realized how pretty everything was. I'd go on walks around LA and just think, God, the leaves are beautiful. And things were going fast. I mean, hell. I mean, I joined the union one week before the pandemic and just, it was not, it was barely, it's not even half a year since I started. And then everything stopped. That hit me hard. I continued with my classes. I I went to this acting school and picked up some things and just like anyone does in LA. But it's hard to pick up, you know? I mean, sometimes I'm just hit by the world and I just realize, what the hell? Like, I can't move. It's not the same type of thing where I want to do a project, but it's hard to do the first step. It's not even that. It's kind of like there was a moment in time right after high school. I graduated, but there was a day where we we're going to meet up again in, because, well, we were going to cook something in culinary arts class and it was the last thing that I wanted to make, but I thought it was a joke. I, that's what I tell myself. And I honestly agree. I really did think it was just a joke. Because, you know, I was graduating by then. But it was a beef wellington. And I wanted to make it all year. And I was so hung up by the fact that I already graduated. Realizing right then and there, everything I do from then on out... I'm not forced into it. It's not like I have any requirements or any, like, pushing force. No. It's just me and my choice. That hit me hard. I didn't know what to do. And, honestly, I was scared, but not this fear that would make you shiver in a corner. I was scared... The type of fear that makes you stop. And that hit me hard. If I were to say that if I have any regrets. I regret thinking it was a joke. Because I definitely would have gone and made that be well into. It's such a small thing. But it's big to me. Honestly, life has its own pace. Take it one step at a time and you really can't play like you own the world because, well, life is a life. Say la vie. Because, well, I honestly have no answer. That's just how it is for me. In my point of view, I guess. It's not like I'm the hand of God saying this is how things will be. No. I'm just a guy on my own little quest. And I guess that's not that bad. I mean, not here. hey. I'm able to do this daily, so that's something. The fact that I'm even here standing, that's something too. I mean... 
can't always complain. Because even I, we all didn't start out the same. So you really shouldn't think like everything in the world, every other person, you had the same opportunity, you had the same thing, you had the same life. They're just on a different fork in the road. Because no, you're never on the same road to begin with. And there aren't even many roads to be paved. People say they had a road paved for them. In reality, they're just going with what they, they have. Nothing's concrete. And that's not bad either. Thanks for listening to me on my infinite ramble about, well, pacing. I've been Ethereal Vale, and until tomorrow, this is a goodbye. Have a very goodbye.